So it depends a little bit on which kind of cycle we are doing, uh, which kind of uh, preparation cycle for the intervention. We have different preparations. We can do uh, everything with a natural cycle or with a medicated cycle. In natural cycles, we are going to uh, use the follicle that is going to grow in our ovary, and this is going to produce estrogens that are going to make the lining grow as well. And when we think that everything is correct, we will or trigger the ovulation or wait for the ovulation, and after that, we will do the embryo transfer. So in these cases, the embryo transfer will depend on the date of the ovulation. And so after ovulation, if we have a day three embryo, two days after, we will put the embryo back. If it's five days, if it's a blastocyst, it will be five days later after the ovulation. On the other hand, if we do a medicated cycle, what we do is we give estrogens, uh, that means hormonal treatment to make the uterine lining grow. The ovaries are not going to uh, work, actually. It's us that are going to make these hormones to make the uterine lining grow. When we see that the uterine lining is correct, we can just start progesterone and program the embryo transfer five days later, or 10 days later, or 15 days later. It's more flexible in these cases because we don't depend on the ovulation, on the natural ovulation. And this happens normally uh, three weeks after uh, the starting the cycle, after the menstruation, actually, more or less. It will depend on every patient. In some specific cases, uh, we need to put some preparation before, like um, agonist, urinary agonist, to inhibit the ovarian function or things like that. It will depend on every case and every patient. Uh, and that could mean that we need to start medication before the menstruation with whom we want to start the preparation and we, and we want to do the transfer, okay? But in general, the transfer is done uh, three weeks after the menstruation, and normally all these processes like three weeks. Yeah? And during all these processes, actually, it's also important to know that uh, patients will need to do some controls, which will be an ultrasound and a blood test, uh, between one and three controls normally, to see that everything is correct to program the end of transfer. 